Broadway is back, but ticket holders will need to follow strict guidelines for some shows, including the one that's coming up real soon, Springsteen on Broadway. CBS 2's Hazel Sanchez joining us outside the St. James Theater. Hazel. Hi there, Dana. Springsteen on Broadway is opening next weekend. It's the first show to reopen on Broadway. It really is an exciting time, but also a sign of the times because anyone that wants to see this show has to be fully vaccinated. Broadway is back. I think it's about time. And the boss is leading the way. Springsteen on Broadway, Bruce Springsteen's autobiographical musical, will open next Saturday at St. James Theater on 44th Street. It's the first show to open on Broadway since the pandemic forced theaters to go dark in March of 2020. Yeah, I'm ready for everything to reopen. I think that it's going to be great, but. Uh... We just got to be careful. Do Jamson Theaters, which operates St. James Theater, is being very careful, requiring ticket holders to show proof of being fully vaccinated with an FDA approved vaccine. Proof can be a vaccination card or for New Yorkers, the mobile Excelsior Pass. Anyone younger than 16 must be accompanied by a fully vaccinated adult and have proof of a negative COVID 19 test. Adults 18 and over must also have a state issued ID, like a driver's license or passport. I would probably be more comfortable if they did that. Like, um, if that's what Broadway needs to open up, that's what they should do. Springsteen is a mobile event only. Paper tickets are history. Each attendee will have their own mobile code to scan, and each person must take a COVID-19 survey within 24 hours of the show to access their ticket code and enter the venue. I think they're reasonable precautions. I think this industry has taken the largest hit of just about any other, um, and we're trying to do the best we can so not to go backwards. Ryan McNally from the Bronx says he's looking forward to buying tickets for Phantom of the Opera. Opera when it finally reopens, and he's willing to meet all the requirements each theater may choose. We really have an opportunity to bring back, you know, a new normal, but bring back, uh, you know, the world as we know it. And um, we'd like to have everybody together sitting in the theater. So, theater seating for Bruce Springsteen's show will not be socially distanced, and entry times will also be assigned and staggered to minimize long lines and crowds outside the theater. We're live in the theater district. Hazel Sanchez, CBS 2 News. The Loud Theater District. Okay, Hazel, thanks.